hi i'll be showing you today how to actually connect to um, a remote computer using powershell if for example you are working in a, in a company and you want to connect to, um, to to someone's computer using powershell and to just maybe do some configuration and carry out some policies or just start a service without the user actually knowing that you connect to his computer so how do you go go about this so first of all, we need to make sure that the um, Windows Remote um, Service is actually started on on that computer. So first of all, we need to open the computer management. So I assume you're going to open the computer management, or just let me just tap computer management, right click on that, and run as administrator. So on our computer management, so we will need to connect to a different computer entirely to see if the remote service of that computer has already started. Because if the remote service is not working on that computer and you try to connect to that computer, it will surely not work. So let me just show you, show you an example what's going to happen. If, for example, I try to start PowerShell from this computer and I run it as administrator, and I click yes. So let me just try to connect to this um, computer using the PS session. Let me see. Um, if I try to now to say, okay, uh, let me just enable, um, let me try to type, see, enable PS remoting, and then let me just try to force it to start on, the, on this very computer and make sure that everything is working fine. Okay, just uh, start it. Okay, so request on this computer, so okay, everything is working very, very well. So now let me try to connect to the other computer. I'm going to use the enter a session and then tap the computer, which is the zero three. So I'm trying to connect to this computer using PowerShell. So let me just try to see what's going to happen. So it's trying to connect to that computer and let's see if it's going to work. So here you can see when I try to connect to that computer, it's telling me that connect, connecting, to, connecting to remote sev uh, server failed with the following error message: the Vim, Vim remote uh, um, RM cannot start, cannot be completed. Uh, verify that the specified computer name is valid. So what actually happened is, there is, is this: because when, when when I try, look, let me just show you that the services have not been started on that computer. So let me just try to connect to another computer from the computer management. So I'm going to connect to the Windows 03, and here we are on that computer right now. So let me go to services. So the services has um, been started. Okay, let's let's let me just scroll down. Let me try to make this more wider, and then scroll down. And here we have the Windows Remote Management service. As you can see, this service has not been started. So that was why. Um, I was not able to connect to the com computer um, and, and, and receive an error message. So mind you, if you can see here, I'm already I'm on my f computer 04, but I'm connected to 03 through computer management. So what we just need to do is, I will just right, right click on this and the window remote management service and then click start. So mind you, I'm I'm, just, I'm I'm in a test environment. Probably this computer should be or maybe in a very in a different city or in a different state or probably in a different country. But you should make sure that you are able to first of all, you need to make sure that you can contact the PC, the computer by pinging the, the computer zero three and see. So make sure that you can you are because if you cannot ping the computer, uh, of course you will not be able to connect to the computer using computer um, computer management. So right now, it's, I've already started the service, and if I try again to connect to this computer using the uh, PS session, let's try that and see if it's going to work. So you can see we have not, we, are, we are now connected to the um, W03 computer using PowerShell. So let me just change to the that to the C drive directory. C double point um, backslash. Okay, and I can change to temp folder from here. Or I can just uh, do 
decided to delete and um, I think I have a folder called let me just go and check I have a folder called temp folder on this the C drive yeah I have a temp folder there I can decide to just let me just delete the temp folder so it's asking me yes are you sure I'm sure I want to delete everything that's deleted let me go back to the folder and here you can see the folder the term folder has been deleted so here you have the option actually if you are very good in powershell scripting you have the, uh, the, the possibility to actually perform a lot of um, functionality or do some very good stuff from this computer just controlling the windows 0 3 because if for example like i'll give you i'll give you a scenario i have a scenario whereby yeah i'm users computer are not um, updating to the um Visus server anymore so the custom computer are not receiving update so you can actually um, um connect to that computer call the user connect to his computer as an administrator and then delete the um Visus um update folder in a c drive and then from there just do some powershell scripting for the computer to be able to update to the Visus server but with the windows uh, win uh, remote um script uh, connection you should be able to connect to that computer without even contacting the user just perform some action and then the user will not even be aware that some uh, someone connected to his computer but as you have to be very very careful because um you know if um it's not you who need to find out from your director if this is allowed because if it's not allowed you may get into trouble so thank you very much for watching my video and please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to give me a like and also you can also leave a comment if you have any question and i'll respond as quick as possible please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more it related video my name is kelvin johnson thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video i appreciate you a lot bye